what's up guys welcome back to the series on uh, report lab so this is the part two let me just uh, no this is going to be heading okay that's all so in the first part uh, like which i uploaded like a uh, couple of days ago like this one the installation part then the required like packages and how how we like I, we have seen like how to create one simple pdf file and after that how to save the file and after that how to add pages and write some text sample text with some dimension what is the significance of this bottom up this thing so we have completed that part so today uh, the next part is going to be like uh, pdf uh, file creation with protected password or let me just replace it password protected pdf file creation so i told you why i need this thing like pdf encrypt so this is the significance like using this package we can create like uh, this thing like encrypted pdf file on you can make those file like password protected to do that just me let me just create another thing like pdf equals to like canvas dot canvas inside that i have to just give like another thing like uh, test pdf dot pdf and same thing from here bottom up okay but there is something additional we required so let me just test equals to this pdf encrypt dot standard encryption inside that i have to just pass the password like let's say ronnie dash my name that's all and you have to just uh, create another argument or parameter like it's encrypt and you have to pass this test and remaining things is going to be same we'll say or we just only this thing only one page so what is happening over here i've just created one like uh, uh, encrypted uh, i am just using this pdf encrypted like uh, package and inside that i have this thing standard encryption method and and i am just creating one password using this thing and after that i'm just assigning like this uh, uh, value to this parameter and calling this method canvas so it is going to create one file with ticks pdf dot pdf and why i am giving this bottom up zero so i'm just concentrating on this thing like top left like the my starting point will be top left and after that uh, this thing is going to uh, like 10 from here left side and 10 from uh, from like top like here probably in this way you can see and that there will be one string text pdf and after that pdf show page and pdf save is normal usual thing so let me just run this thing uh, canvas dot canvas encryption okay i have missed one this thing um not sure what happened over here encrypt let me just rerun not sure what will happen get this this let me run this thing okay it's done now let me just check okay it's created so r o n i t a s see it's created okay so in this way we can create like uh, password protected pdf file so this is like widely used in any sort of reporting engine whatever django applications you are like uh, already familiar with some of the django application or most of the like nowadays most of the online learning industries are using this report lab thing like in the back end to generate like pdf certification sorry 
PDF reporting to send the certificate or generate the certificate to the students. So this is very simple. This is very easy. This is very lightweight and only like a few lines of codes are required. And again, this is a very powerful library. And if you know this thing, you will become uh, you'll become smart. I'm not saying those are not familiar of uh, this sort of things. They are not smart. Yes, they are all as well smart. But if you know this thing, you will be able to do something like in a very short span of time, like util utilizing very less amount of resource, less amount of time. If you do something in two minutes of time, you are going to save probably, maybe if someone is doing in 30 minutes, and if you're doing it for two minutes, then you are going to save 28 minutes of time. So you are all are like chargeable based on our hour so it's IT industry so i'm just talking in that point of view so it'll become smart and fast worker so i'm thinking in that way so i think this is one of the essential tool to learn when you are uh, doing anything like any sort of things though actually those are not doing technical stuff for for those guys also this tool is going to be like kind of like uh, uh what do you say like uh, kind of like uh, um very powerful thing like those guys those are actually handling customers and sales and they're preparing deck desk, dashboards or decks for the customer or sometimes to the c category uh, like th th there are many employees those are directly reporting to the company ceo or board of director or managing director or financial or like head of cfo city or whoever and those guys are actually business oriented guys they are very much like uh, fancy about nice looking dashboards pdf reports and all if you're going to write this first in word and then if you transfer or convert this into pdf this is not going to be work nowadays everybody is requiring some sort of fast and mm, like smart thing so if you know this thing you do not have to rely on your junior resources you can go ahead and do anything whatever you want to do and i think only it requires like uh, if you if you are following my videos for two weeks then you will be able to understand and remaining things you will be you will be able to do it by your own so first thing is that the report lab documentation and after just go through my videos because i'm going to do whatever actually required those things only and trust me i'll be going to cover mostly 99 percent things i'm not going to do any rubbish thing over here or any like nonsense thing whatever i'm currently doing in my project or in my company and for my customer i'm going to teach the same thing so you'll be able to understand that and actually i'm going to share my experience what are the things that equate are actually actually help me or helping me and it is not only helping me it is helping my company my customer my like boss whoever is like uh, it's small industry right so enough of talking but again uh, why i'm telling when i'm suddenly starting this report lab thing this is important to know so again just let me give that quick recap so first thing first we have to just uh, import this thing and we have to just create one test object using by calling this thing and you have to pass the this uh, constant or static thing again i'm not going to uh, tell you uh, that this is the right way you can do it in a different way for example you can create something uh, dynamic like from variable and from variable you can pass this thing as well that is perfectly okay there's another thing this thing you can again do this thing you can directly pass some string over here and also that also create the pdf thing but this is the right way of doing uh, i'll tell you why let me check one thing can print if you put it zero what is going to happen okay let me just okay i can't see the print option I'm not sure why okay let me just not sure probably uh, some I have seen in somewhere in the documentation that if you put can print equals to zero then it will not going to allow you to print without typing the password and if you put one then it will allow you 
two piece but again I'm, I'm not pretty much sure about that so this is guys i'm just keeping this thing for you guys but this is important thing the spin thing and all this is not important that much because if you're going to write the password or if you're going to put the password if you can and if you can see the pdf content then i think it definitely makes sense that you should print the pdf so that's all for today guys again uh, last thing um, uh, if you like our videos please give us one like share our videos subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon i'm actually tired so that's why my voice is kind of weird out now and just share our videos with your friends family students whoever actually feeling uh, like something is uh, something will be beneficial for them and also our channel is now we are having now our facebook page you can follow us over facebook i have also put the description uh, our facebook page uh, like link in the description box also you can like share our videos and the last but the not least thing if you think we can do something better if, if you can add something in our video more interactive way just do let us know and if you're having some innovative topic or some very useful just do let us know we'll try to do definitely on those topics actually as i told you we are trying to target like much bigger audience so that our video should like reach to each and everyone those are actually wanted to or are willing to learn or seeking for some knowledge you know like uh, i also started like few years back from youtube only and some talks or some courses from udemy so i'm just thinking that whenever or whenever possible i will definitely contribute to the community so it is actually my kind of payback to the community so that's all guys um, hope to see you in the next video probably i'm not going to upload any more videos on this series uh, before the weekend because i'm not i'm going to continue the matplotlib and pandas because i need to start machine learning from september so it's it's only two months left but again i'll be busy from august again so i need to finish those like series before but don't worry i'll be going to this i'm uh, going to continue this pdf uh, reporting with uh, report lab from next week next weekend probably saturday or sunday i'm going to upload so that's all guys i uh, hope to see you in the next video and till then goodbye take care